Humberto has become synonymous with the term hurricane as it becomes a hurricane for the fifth time in its naming list since 1995 with 75 mile per hour winds, pressure of 988 millibars as of 11 p.m. this September 15th. Currently, Humberto still is on track to hit Hamilton Bermuda, however, the CDPS is a stage 5, but the confidence on that is starting to waver as the official forecast and model guidance are starting to track this well north of Bermuda in the next few days. Humberto is at 29.4 degrees north, 77.6 degrees west. Again, category one on the Sapphire Simpson scale. Still a stage five, however, that confidence is starting to wane a little bit. It is 786 miles from Hamilton on the island of Bermuda, and we will see this possibly get within 50 to 70 miles of Bermuda over the next five days before it does start tracking north of the island and we will have to see just how close those impacts are going to be. Currently there are no watches or warnings in effect at this time. We may see some go into effect for Bermuda once Humberto starts to get close enough to influence the impacts in those areas. Getting into the rainfall forecast you can see Humberto they're still dropping a little bit of rain with its outflow over the Bahama Island and it will start moving towards the east there very slowly over the next two to three days. Bermuda may start feeling some rain effects by the time we get to around Wednesday and Thursday and then it will hopefully be out of there by Thursday night going into Friday and Bermuda is just going to sit over the northern Atlantic and just meander over the next few days after that. It's really going to be interesting to see what kind of impact it does drop in for Bermuda. Sea surface temperatures though for Humberto aren't too bad, 27, 28 degrees Celsius and the waters have started to warm up just a little bit closer to Bermuda so we may see a little bit more strengthening as it gets there with those 28 degree uh, sea surface temperatures. Getting into the forecast for Humberto, it will be a very significant hurricane, category 1, category 2 as it does continue to move its way east toward the Bermuda area by the time it does get into Thursday and into Friday. And it is forecast to track within 50 to 70 miles of the island. Tropical storm force conditions and maybe some possible hurricane conditions are of the possibility over those few days that it will be in the area. And you can see down the bottom of the screen that is 97L, which the DFS takes to be a significant hurricane. Chance of tropical storm force winds are looking like this 80% for Hamilton over the next five days. There's also a 45% chance we can see winds over 60 miles per hour and a 24% chance of hurricane conditions for the island of Bermuda. Getting into the models now, most of the models are a little bit behind as they are trying to catch up with the fact that Humberto is a hurricane for the fifth time in its naming cycle. And wind shear is not going to be too bad, so 15, 20 knots. It will start going up over the next couple of days and that will diminish its impact of being too intense. Sea surface temperature is going to be good. Humidity is going to start dropping that will create some issues for dry air and you can see its track still keep Bermuda somewhat in play. Getting into the satellite imagery, you can see where the eye is starting to try to form there for Humberto. It's still a little bit east of its uh, central convection. It's starting to look really good structurally. You can see a little bit of a decent outflow on the northern side overall. And getting into the water, water vapor imagery, you can see that the cloud tops are really impressive over its northern and western side. And that will show up very well on the infrared as this is, again, a hurricane for the fifth time. It replaced the name Hugo when uh, Hugo was retired in 1989 and Humberto was added to the list in 1995 and it is to my knowledge the only Atlantic name since its inception to become a hurricane every time that it's been used. This is the fifth uh, iteration of the name and you can see on the infrared imagery just how well those cloud tops are looking. Some very tall cloud tops, some minus 80s, maybe some minus 85s in there where the eye could be forming at. It does look like there might be some dry air trying to intrude on the western side, but it looks like Humberto may be able to wrap that out. So overall, if you're in Bermuda, you do need to keep an eye on this as this still could drop some effects. Rainfall for uh, Bermuda can be between 2.5 to 3 inches, much as 18 if it doesn't make landfall there. Keep an eye on this, and we'll have another update later on. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can reach us on all of our media outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are revamping the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash force13. 
you're probably there already. If you are, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like these rolling into your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we'll post our articles and keep an eye out there for any live events that we may simulcast there. We're also on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to look swag like our own Nathan Four here, you can rock our colors by going to our store. Our store is store.force13.com, or you can continue directly to the project by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privileges you can get from it can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. And if you want to reach out to the project directly, you can reach out to us at force13 on Skype. Or you can hit me up directly at extension T Ren, extension 1375. Or you can hit that link in the bottom of the description to get to our Discord. That information is also available at the end of this segment.